Two years ago, I built this insane 7,000 watt DIY electric mini bike, and the most popular comment that I've gotten since then is that there's no way this thing is 7 kilowatts, especially when the top speed of the bike is only 35 miles an hour, so let me explain. While this motor might look small, it's an ultra powerful brushless motor that is technically rated for 7,000 watts max power according to the manufacturer. But rated power isn't the same as actual operating power. The nominal voltage of the 16S battery is about 60 volts, and the maximum battery current we have programmed for the ESC is 80 amps. Using the formula for electric power, the max power is already capped at 4,800 watts, and that's only if the bike is pulling a full 80 amps at full throttle, which it isn't. Next, we have to consider the implications of the gearing of the bike. The motor is 130 kV, operating at a maximum of 67.2 volts, putting its maximum RPM at 8,736. Right now, the bike is in an 11 to 72 gear ratio, which limits the top speed to have more torque, giving the rear wheel a maximum RPM of 1,334. Assuming some losses in efficiency and the diameter of the rear wheel, the maximum theoretical top speed comes out to roughly 36 miles per hour. So while it's true that this bike has a 7,000 watt motor, it doesn't mean it's always operating at 7,000 watts. Ultimately, the design choices that we made prioritize torque and efficiency over raw top speed or power. This setup works well for our needs, and it's a great reminder that raw power ratings don't tell the full story.